welcome back to my channel. This is like embarrassing to admit, but I was on TikTok and I got to like that side of TikTok that was like, <laughs> it's like character edits, right? So I was on that side of TikTok last night. This is like 3 a.m., right? I was on that side of TikTok and then it was like talking about like the outer banks, right? <laughs> the outer banks. And then for some reason, when I switch off a of tick, I mean, so yeah, so I watched a few like <laughs> outer banks edits because I mean, like JJ and Rafe are like, wow, uh huh. Especially is season two Rafe. <laughs> we love toxic men. <laughs> like, we love toxic men. But then I got to YouTube and there was this playlist. It's like, oh, you're at a cook frat party. And I'm like, you know what? I'm like already deep in the outer bags. Might as well. And then I found that song. I'm literally listening to it nonstop since like 3 a.m. last night. But anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here for books. But yeah, I literally have a box full of all the books that I read in 2021. We're actually January 1st today. Like I know I'm posting another video on January 1st, but I don't think I told you guys Happy New Year. So bitch, Happy New Year. How's it going? I swallowed an ice, but how's it going? We're gonna make 2022 our year um, of like reading our year of like everything else. I just want to say that I did only started like read like re getting into reading this year so there's not like that that many books but i know definitely in the like this year and years to come there's going to be more um i just can't i just want to say that in my city it's like we haven't had a like sun in like literally days like i haven't seen the sun in like a week it's just like white the sky has been white for the past who knows how many days so yeah we have like half my car that's like pitch black then like literally i have to get as close to my steering wheel as possible so you guys can actually see my face which is fun because i feel like we're very very close but literally it's like pitch black in the back of my car also i'm wearing a hat because my hair is like absolutely gross it is like a hockey hat yeah a hockey hat for my city but um it's the, literally the only hat that i have I'm pretty sure you can move the steering wheel, but I, I, I can't. I don't know how to move my steering wheel. And my dad's going to be mad on me if I break my steering wheel. So we're just going to ignore that. Okay, let's get to the books. What I decided to do is that we're going to go from my least liked book, the book that I liked the least, to the book that I liked the most. And I didn't give anything under three stars because also I didn't really know how I was supposed to rate them or what I actually liked. So the ratings that I did give these books... I'm not gonna tell you unless it's like the five stars because I feel like 4.5, 4, and like all that. It's like now that I've read more books, I have a better sense of like what is a three, what's a 3.75, what's a 4.5, and what's a five, you know? Yeah, I'll tell you my five stars that were five stars at the time that I read them, and then now looking back, they're also like five stars. My least liked book of 2021, I actually don't have it on me. I read it like electronically. It's Twice Shy by Sarah Hogel and i i don't know i thought it was gonna be like a really good book like really like sweet cute and also um i checked like goodreads reviews and a lot of people liked it and i was like i don't know there's just like something with our main character that i was like i'm not really down for the guy was sweet but i was like the girl i don't know it's just like awkward and i i did not like it that that much let me unbuckle my box i literally buckled up my box so my books do not fall um yeah it's gonna be a pain in the ass i didn't think of putting the books that i liked the least at the top to make my life easier but yeah like that's just me um my brain doesn't work sometimes and i apparently love to make my life harder next book it's party of two by jasmine gilroy gillery gillery and i feel like i didn't like it that much because i feel like this is a book for like people who are older i'd say like if you're in your 30s i just got like i mean i don't want to say gossip girl vibes but you know how like nate's cousin is part of some like political thing right and like nate wants to be part of a political thing also so that's the kind of vibes that i got from this book but i don't know like that's the thing it's not bad i feel like there's not necessarily like a plot and i feel like it's for people who are older than me like once again in your 30s so i feel like that's why i didn't really like it that that much like it's not bad it's just I don't know, kind of like pointless. Next one I also read on my phone. It's 99% Mine by... 
Sally Thorne, I think. Yeah, the same person who wrote The Hating Game. It wasn't bad, but it's like, there, I felt like there was nothing like special about it, you know? Like, I didn't particularly like the characters. It was just like an okay story. The romance was like fine. But yeah, there's no like strong emotional connection to this book. Like, it wasn't bad, but it was very like just okay, I guess. It's literally so hard to dig for all these books. But next, we have Shipped by Angie Hawkman. And this was cute. Like, I read this in the summer. Again, like, there was nothing, like, exceptional about this, but I found it cute. Like, I read it after the honeymooner, the unhoneymooners, and I feel like I liked the kind of, like, enemies to lovers, like, vacation trope in the unhoneymooners better than this. If you like the unhoneymooners, you'll probably like this. But, like, once again, this wasn't bad. It wasn't amazing. It was just, like, in between and... It's it's a good read, but once again, if you want the enemies to lovers vacation, go with the unhoneymooners. Well, like, that's like the higher up recommendation. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you like that trope, then you'll probably like, really like this book. Next, we have the, let me grab it, the Kindred Spirits Supper Club. And what intrigued me was that, I mean, one, it was like, um, I don't know, like, it was like private club vibes, the guy, like the love interest, he's like the owner of it, so it's like, like, rich boy who has, like, properties, you know, so it's like, okay, let's, let's check it out, also there was a, like, type of, like, paranormal thing added to this, which I was like, okay, that's kind of odd, but I actually really liked how it was, like, this was actually, like, a really, like, sweet book, I would say it's for people, like, older than, like, 25, like, a little bit older, but not, like, that that much older like not necessarily in your 30s but like a tiny bit older i like this but i didn't like really connect to the characters or it didn't really do anything to me like emotionally you know it was still a good book i just didn't feel like an impact from it but honestly like i recommend because i really like it and the cover it's like pretty and it's like pink on the side so it looks nice on a shelf <laughs> there's that it looks really nice on a shelf next we're going into a tiny bit like fantasy sci-fi and yeah we actually have back to back to back um the trilogy so since it's all like back to back to back i'm gonna tell you the order well the order that they're written is the diabolic the empress and the nemesis this is the order that they come in the trilogy but actually um my lowest rated from this trilogy is the nemesis like it was a happy ending to the trilogy but I was like kind of like bored at for a large part of the beginning of this book. I understand why it turned off like this based off of how the second book finished. But I don't know, I just found it boring. Then the in-between, it was good. But then after that, I feel like the story isn't bad. Once again, the overall story isn't like something particularly particularly like wow. But this is like my lowest rated one. Once again, does have a happy ending. I kind of like cried in this at a moment of this because i was like yes but besides that i didn't really feel much like it didn't make me cry which i was surprised but i didn't really feel that that much to it then the next one is the diabolic i feel like every first book of a series starts off like really really strong and i feel like this started off like really really strong like after reading this i wasn't like oh my god i'm like dying to know what happens next but it's like i'd want to i, I want to see what happens next because in this trilogy they look a bit more like into the political like it's it's still ya right so it's not like too 2d but it is kind of like political sci-fi fantasy which i like sometimes like that's why i wanted to know what happened next but i wasn't like oh my god i'm like dying to know what happens next and then the second book in the series which is actually my favorite is the empress so many things happen in this book and it's like you like you think one thing but then something else happens so you're like wait what do i believe and i feel like this was written really 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 well the first part of this book i don't know how much and i'd say less than 30 percent. i was like okay i'm not really into it but then i think once i reached that 30 percent mark i was like oh my god because once again like the author makes you think one thing but then not really it's all like lies things are hidden things are disguised and this literally messed with my mind yeah it's my favorite out of the trilogy it didn't make me cry but my favorite because i was like you didn't really know what to believe like overall do i recommend this trilogy i say yes because i did enjoy it it was it was really good it did make me cry but once again nothing like particularly wow if i compare it to another series that i'm going to be talking about which i absolutely love okay next one this author i love her 
when I was younger and when I saw she had a very summer themed book, I was like, I have to buy it. I'm not gonna lie. It was a little like, I don't want to say immature, but it's like, you know, like you could tell this is for like people who are like younger than me, but it was just like nostalgic and super, super cute. It's Sun Kissed by Casey West. I just love this because it happened at a summer camp and oh my God, literally dirty dancing vibes. I got such big dirty dancing vibes from this. I absolutely love this so, so much, but it's so fast, so cute, so adorable. I love it. It's just not rated like super, super high because I know that I would have enjoyed this so much more when I was like 16 and 17. And there are other like books that I did enjoy much more than this, but this is adorable. And it's kind of like making me consider, do I like read more Casey West or do I like read other things that I want to read? I really don't know, but I'm like, I love Casey West again. Absolutely adorable. Jumping back to an adult romance, we have Meet Me in Paradise. And this one by, oh, by uh, Libby Hupshire, Hupshire, I think, and like the twist in this book, you're like, I mean, I don't know if it's really a twist, I read it in the summer, so it's kind of like not fresh to my mind, but when you find how everything is connected, I'm like, oh my god, and the guy in this book, he's so, so sweet, like it is sad, because like, yeah, I'm not gonna like spoil it, but it, it is sad, the guy is so sweet, when everything comes connected, I'm like, oh my god, wow. This one I definitely recommend. I read it so, so fast, so, so good. Once again, it's not rated extremely high because I have books that I liked more than this, but this I do recommend because I loved it so, so much. A perfect read for the summer. Okay, we're going like completely from summer to winter with a Christmas romance. I found my other Christmas romance, but I can't find the one that I'm planning to show you guys. Oh, okay, we found it. We found it under the next book that I'm going to be talking about. We have Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. And this, okay, like I don't like extremely smutty books if there's not really like a purpose for it, you know? There's another book I'm going to talk about that I really, really, really love, which is like so much like smuttier than this. But I feel like that's like it works and like I liked it. Here, I was more like the first half, I honestly loved it so much. Super, super sweet, super cute. It is a little like um, love at first sight thing, but it works because it's like so small. It's a Christmas thing. Still really, really en enjoyed it, but not as much as like some other books once again. But yeah, this I do recommend, but just know that it is like pretty like smutty-ish like later on in the book. You might like that, you might not, but I honestly enjoy this. Super, super cute, insta-lovey, but I liked it because it works in this case. So yeah, I recommend for next Christmas. And you know how I said I'm not into like super, super smutty books? This one was like pretty smutty, but I liked it for the atmosphere. It's a gothic romance, dark academia novel, novel. Yeah, I feel that's so fancy, but like dark academia, and then the gothic romance, I love it. And this book is absolutely beautiful. Like it has a bunch of quotes like this at, in front of some chapters. At the end, it has like pages like this. And my favorite one, like, do you see this? It's so beautiful. I read this so, so fast because it looks big. But the writing is like actually like pretty big also. Yeah, um, I love this. It was a little bit like too smutty for me, but the setting, the atmosphere, absolutely love this. I do recommend, once again, if you're not really into smutty things, you might not enjoy it as much, but it's such a beautiful, like a beautiful book. And it's so like beautiful, like atmospherically. Perfect for the fall. We're going to a thriller sticking with the like fallish vibe. And we have not a happy, I feel like the lighting changed again. We have not a happy family. Oh, I didn't tell you who uh, Gothic Hannah was from. It's from Runix. And now not a happy family by Shari Lipina. I really, really like this book so much. I do feel like just because of the, like just because we know that it is like someone in this family who committed the murder, I feel like I could kind of predict who it was, but it was still like really, really good. I still really, really, really enjoyed it. It's not like higher rated because I could predict who it was. I feel like it was kind of obvious, but I still loved like the chase. I loved like following through, seeing how this thing affected like the different characters in the family and how they like, they were like kind of like conspiring with each other because they all thought it was like one person. 
and stuff like that like really really good i honestly really really recommend i like how the ends of the pages are like kind of torn i can't tell if you can see on camera but it's not like super straight and proper and i really like that so yeah i do recommend but i feel like you might be able to guess who it is but it honestly doesn't take away from the story because it's still like really 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 good after this we're going from like <laughs> from like thriller to like waterworks and like ugly crying oh my god this book we have bright side by kim holden you like there's not really a, okay this book honestly does not have a plot you just follow like the main character around and you're like okay i like finding out about her life but where is this going like what's the point to the story and then I remember at some point there was like a hint where she talks about something and it's like I, I i remember i was like reading this at like work right and then my boss asked me he was like oh bright side like what's it about and stuff like i said like i don't really know like there's this guy keller there's like this girl but there's like gus and stuff like that and I, I remember i was like talking to my boss about this and then i was like oh there's like a book too called like gus and then he like googled like spoilers so he can like find out what like happened and stuff but yeah i remember like telling my boss that at some point she like lets something like spill and then when i read that i was like fuck fuck i know where this is going and like that's the thing you know where this is going from like halfway through you know where this is going but when it hits like it's it's oh my god oh my god like ugly crying i ugly cried and there I just remember I was gonna tell you quotes from these books but this book literally because I normally write quotes then I like write my thoughts on it for this one I literally only had quotes on this one of my favorite ones is when she was like I find this so cute how she was like defending her friend okay so her friend is uh Clayton and she's like talking to someone who Clayton is into and who's like into Clayton while like Clayton's gone because this is when they're at a bar or something well while Clayton's at the bathroom or something she's telling the guy that Clayton likes and who likes Clayton this don't fuck okay she, ah! she says don't fuck Clayton over he's special and he's sweet yeah he's special and he's sweet and he really likes you I know this is all is all just oh my god okay give me a second don't fuck Clayton over he's special and he's sweet and he really likes you I know this is all just getting started between the two of you but don't get him all jacked up over you if you don't intend to pursue something with him Clayton's never had a boyfriend keep that in mind his heart has been tucked away for 18 years so when he takes it out of his pocket and offers to share it with you don't treat it like some shiny new toy that will only be forgotten when you're done playing with it and don't take more than your share unless you're willing to trade your own for it ah! I, I, I don't know what it was but i was like i just <laughs> she she uh, i mean of course it doesn't concern her or like people who she's into but i was like the way that she talks about him it's like oh i don't know i don't know it's just like there's so many quotes oh my god i'm i'm literally gonna cry you may not know all the trivial stuff but you know me the real me deep down you know how i think what i fear how i love no one's ever seen me the way you do just when you think you know someone they change or you change or maybe you both change and that changes them. i'm literally crying right now oh my god this is... if you want ugly crying read this book it's so beautiful it's just oh my god okay i need a break after okay you can see the book i need a oh you could have seen all these books i didn't even notice I need a break after that because that got me emotional. Next up, we have a Christmas. Oh, well, my other Christmas book that I read. This is In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. I got this from Book Outlet. So there wasn't like a sticker here. And then I don't know why it didn't come off and was trying to take it off. It left like a weird mark. But this book, I love it so much. Like I love it so much more than window shopping. I feel like because this wasn't like really, really smutty. It was more like rom com sweet. And then I also realized that I love like childhood friends to lovers because of this book. This I 100% recommend. I feel like who, like no matter who you are, you're going to love this book. So, so good. So sweet. And Angie was absolutely adorable. I have so much love for this book. 
I have so much love for it. Ah, I love this book so much. But yeah, amazing rom-com you 100% recommend for next Christmas. This one I read on my phone, but I loved it so much that I want to buy a physical copy. People we meet on vacation. I swear my car is like filled with books. So, so good. 100% recommend. It is like a dual timeline type of thing. Like I do agree that the, like when you find out what happened, it's kind of like underwhelming. Like I thought it was going to be more than what it actually was, but I still really, really enjoyed it. Super, super sweet, cute. And that also like showed me that, okay, I might like friends to lovers, but I feel like out of friends to lovers and childhood friends to lovers, childhood friends to lovers is where my heart is enemies to lovers and childhood friends to lovers okay now we have book two of a series that i read when i was 17 but i'm reading again so this is the an ember in the ashes series this is book two a torch against the night this series has such a soft place in my heart i'm not gonna talk about it too much because i'm gonna put it in my winter wrap-up video but you feel like in this book not much action happens but you feel for these characters like your heart oh you feel for these characters they go through so much they get betrayed they get just so much shit happens and you feel the sadness you feel the happiness you feel the loss of hope if there's one series that i'm like you have to read this series because i'm like rereading it now because book four came out this year um, I have book one, two, three. I'm currently reading book three. I sadly couldn't finish it before like the clock like hit midnight. I was like 86% through. Please go buy it because it's so freaking good. We're going to the another thriller that I read this year. And this one came out this year. I know a lot of people got it from book of the month. I live in Canada and also I live in like Quebec. So I mean, even if book of the month shipped to like Canada, I'm like, what are the chances they're going to ship to Quebec, right? We have 56 Days by Katherine Ryan Howard. Ooh, I forgot to mention. This is by Saba Tahir. This is a thriller about COVID. And I absolutely love this because I, I was like in class. Okay, there's this like one class that I had like last semester, Monday mornings from like 8.45 to like 11.30. I had like a, a friend in this class and like we would always sit in the back just like doing our own thing he was like doing his thing on his like laptop like proper like engineering stuff i was like reading and i got to the biggest plot twist where it's like you discover one thing but then you realize that this person knew this all along but then this person knew that this person knew it all along but then this person just like that part i got to in class and i was like gasping every single five seconds and i was like like showing my my friend oh my god this happened this happened this happened it's super good 100 percent recommend and also a thriller about covid which is like you've never seen before but it's like so good plus it's pink do you it's pink i love it i i love it we're going with summer rom-com all over tiktok all over everywhere the unhoneymooners by christina lauren you've probably heard about this before so i'm gonna go too deep into it but enemies to lovers vacation rom com amazing perfect summer read okay the person who she was gonna get a job in was an absolute dick but so freaking good i like honestly forgot i had a coffee there's someone walking towards me and i'm literally surrounded by like books but it's okay. It's okay. Beginning to my tops. This one I read on my phone, but I was like, I love it so much. I have to buy it because, oh, there's this one quote in this book that is amazing. We have The Mistake by L. Kennedy. These boys, these Briar U boys, I'm like, why doesn't my university have a like Garrett Graham or a like John Logan? I need my Garrett Graham and John Logan. Why don't I have one? I'm literally gonna complain to my university, be like, bring me hot hockey boys. The off campus series, it's hockey romances, and these boys are just wow. <laughs> four books about four guys who live in this like off campus house, they're all on the hockey team and like our main character made this like list of things that he had to do 
for her and oh my god there's i i literally like opened this book this morning just i opened it i ended up on this page and i was like oh my god this happened i'm gonna try to find the quotes my girl wanted me to send her a boudoir shot of me on a red velvet chaise longue but you have no idea how hard it is to find a goddamn red velvet chaise longue Okay, let me try to find the part where he goes with his friends to this like chaise longue and it's uh it's, I, I love this book i love this book so much it's ah uh, it's perfect it's per oh my god oh my god can you tell that i have extreme love for this series i only read book one and two okay oh my god oh my god i found it chapter 24 but the moment we enter the cavernous auditorium where the girls told us to meet them my jaw drops and our plans change holy shit is that a red velvet chaise longue the guys exchange a what the fuck look um sure justin says why i'm already sprinting towards the stage the girls aren't here yet which means i have to act fast for fuck's sake get over here i call over my shoulders <laughs> Their footsteps echo behind me and by the time they climb on the stage, I've already whipped my shirt off and I'm reaching for my belt buckle. I stop to fish my phone from my back pocket and toss it at Garrett who catches it without missing a beat. What is happening right now? <laughs> what is happening right now? Justin bursts out. I drop through, kick my jeans away and dig into the plush chair wearing nothing but a bloom. <laughs> but my black box of briefs quick take a picture and then you have poor justin who is so confused i love this book so 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 much next we have the first book in the series that i was like mentioning before the ember and the ashes this book so so much love for it it's oh my god it's so good and then elias viturius elias Elias has my heart. I love Elias so much. Once again, 100% recommend this series. So, 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 so good. And book four finally came out. So definitely binge it and fall in love with Elias Viterius. Do I know how the story ends? No, but I'm like, it's so good. It's so, 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 so freaking good. Now we're getting to my top five. So my fifth favorite book this year is escaping from houdini and this is it's this series this is book three of this series they're all kind of standalone -y, but they mention like what happened before like they don't mention the killers and other stories but they do kind of talk about it it's this like the late 1800s yeah the late 1800s and it's a mystery kind of like sherlock Holmes like i don't want to say retelling but it's like that type of vibe you have audrey rose wads wadsworth wadsworth <laughs> i can't pronounce her last name wadsworth and then mr thomas fucking cresswell i love thomas cresswell so much he's oh he's oh i love him i love him i love him thomas is literally perfect you have to read these books 100 recommend it's ya but it's so so good and it's like it's old time right so like the secret like glances that they make towards each oh i love it i love it i love it i can't wait to read the final book but it's like i i i don't want it to end i i need more thomas Cresswell in my life my fourth favorite book this year i tried penelope douglas and corrupt i okay you know how i said i don't like smutty books this worked this it's so much shit happened especially like Okay, one, one, the sauna scene. I'm like, excuse me? The sauna scene, I was like, what the fuck? But it's like, you just, and, oh, 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 I have feelings for this book. And it's like, at the end, the action sequence, I'm like, where the fuck are we? But I loved it. The most like random intense things happen, but I'm like, I am here for it. I love it. Yes yes this made me realize that i might actually really like dark romances once again i'm getting into reading so i'm discovering my taste but as you can see this was like my fourth favorite book this year so it's pretty good 100 percent recommend so 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 good my third favorite book this year we have the deal by l kennedy garrett fucking graham oh my god garrett is oh. I need a Garrett Graham in my life. This book is so, so, so good. 
like so 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 good this i read on my phone but then i bought this and the i have a, like 10 billion books in my laps i have a book pile here a book pile here books in here books everywhere i read these two on my phone but i bought them both because i love them so much and the deal i love it so much more than the mistake but they're both so freaking good i rated five stars back when and i still rated five stars like okay my five star reads these are the ones like my top three are all five star reads next number three we have hard bones by colleen hoover my first ever colleen hoover book and i read this at an emotional time in my life when my mental health wasn't the best and i just connected to these characters like did i necessarily or was i going through what they were going through hell no like samson and bea had it so much worse than me but i just i i never connected to characters as much as i connected with these ones and like the plot twist the plot twist destroyed me absolutely destroyed me i was crying i read this so fast that i was crying it was emotional i connected to these characters i like this would have been my number one read for how much i felt but this book was like the my top my first my top book was something completely different but this one once again i never connected with characters as much as this i never felt so much my characters as i felt here and i've never been as destroyed by a plot twist than i was here five stars recommend please 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 go pick it up surprisingly enough my top book of the year has no romance at all no romance which i was like okay that's weird but it's oh this book is so good dark academia no romance and it's like it's so heavily descriptive so i didn't expect myself to rank this number one but it is number one and i'm like this this is literally the best book i've ever read and everyone has to read it like this book everyone has to read it ninth house by lee bardugo five stars my favorite book i read in 2021 we have murder we have dark academia we have yale fucking university we have darlington we have fucking darlington we have cultist behavior we have secret societies i'm like tell me like yes you don't have to tell me more sold 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 i love this book so much i know that there's supposed to be a book too because i'm like i have to know what happens can i do we i don't know if we find this out from chapter one i i want darlington back like even though there's no like romance bet between them and it's like i wouldn't even want a romance between alex our main character and darlington <laughs> I, I i want darlington back oh my god this book changed my life like my top three reads changed my life for different ways like you have the sports romance that made me like that showed my love for sports romances you have the emotional one with the plot twist that made me feel so so much then you have the dark academia heavy fall vibey book that is so 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 good i feel like they're so different especially ninth house to hard bones and the deal but these are my three favorite books of 2021 i'm so happy i got back into reading because i got to discover all these amazing books all these amazing couples i honestly cannot wait for what 2022 has in store i my i already have like my amazon shopping cart which has over like a thousand dollars worth of books in it because there's so many series that i want to read like i want to finish off campus i want to finish the devil's night series i want to read the addicted calloway sisters series because i heard it's so so good i want to read more christine lauren I just, I just so much that I want to read, but there's like not enough time. I have like so many unread books on my shelf, but it's like I want to buy more. And I do have a book outlet package coming soon. So I'm like, ah, there's so many books and not enough time. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely leave a thumbs up if you did. If you have a problem buying books and if you love, just like if you love, I, <laughs> if you love book boys more than real life boys, comment down below leave a like so i know that i'm not alone um, <laughs> yeah and i mean like honestly when life goes bad when our mental health is bad we have books we have fictional boys 
who are perfect or i mean like perfect or it's like more perfect than like real life boys like who needs like i don't need guys my age i have my 10 million book boyfriends it's okay <laughs> I have to go home edit videos so it's gonna hope you enjoyed subscribe leave a thumbs up follow me on my insta if you want to or on my goodreads um i have it in my intro now so i'm gonna link it down below if you guys want to check it out it's also linked in my channel headboard thing my channel arts poster thing i don't know what it's called stay safe protect your vibe and i'll see y'all next time bye guys